the triple warmer meridian. Now we know from my little chart that this is also in the fire element. It's up here, so it's a yang meridian. We know that the, this one and the circulation obviously are not organs, but they're different processes that work within the body. Now the triple warmer is to do with the fight, flight and freeze response. Now, how often do you feel you are in this state of, you know, it's the sympathetic nervous system that's always on the go. And I think, and I see this so often, that a lot of people really do not know how to switch off that fight, flight and freeze. They're always on the go. It's like, what are you doing to come back into that place of balance and calm? OK, it is also known as the thermostat for it works like a thermostat to regulate the heat in the body. So the triple warmer, or it's also sometimes known as the triple burner, is representing the respiration of the lungs, um, the upper digestion, the assimilation and then the elimination of the lower digestion. So this is why we know it as the triple warmer. So it's. Makes sense, doesn't it? It's the thermostat of those. So um, think about what goes on for you between 9 and 11 at night, which is when this is in its optimum state, it's its strongest time. Are you feeling calm? Are you feeling still hyped up before you go to bed, as you're going to bed? Is this the reason maybe you don't sleep? Yeah, the emotions that connect with this um, can be feeling anxious, can be feeling heaviness, can be feeling um, just that gloomy sort of feeling, you know, when you're just feeling like, ugh, instead of feeling into the joy and the love and the tranquility and the serenity of the fire element, which is what we really want it to be. But I see this so often when people are just go, 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 and then they go to bed and they're still in that state and then wonder why you don't sleep, yeah? It also works with um, the thymus, the thyroid, and the adrenals. So are these overacted, activated, or are they in balance? Really want you to think about this. This meridian is one of the meridians, actually, that we will probably trace backwards more often than we'll trace forwards because it is more often or not over-energized. So we want to calm it down. Now, it does start on the ring finger. And it comes up because we know it's a yang, so it's on the outside of the body, outside of the arm. So it's coming up the ring finger, up the outside, through the elbow, up here, around the neck and around the back of the ear. And it finishes at the temples. OK, so ring finger all the way up the back, around the shoulder, up the back of the ear to the temples. Now think about those areas. Do you have problems in your fingers? Do you have problems up the back of the arm? Do you have problems in your shoulders, your neck? Yeah, very common places for people to feel their tension. So quite often what we will do is we will trace it backwards to bring us back into this calm, to just slow the energy of this one down, okay? I'd love to know where you are with this one. Do you feel that you're more in that place of imbalance with this? rather than the outer balance sort of fractious sort of state, feeling that heaviness, feeling that, you know, that anxiety, really. It's the anxiety, um, it's the stress, which can lead into all sorts of different diseases. These immune diseases like the ME, the fibromyalgia, these sort of things that can actually be at the end of the line because the meridian is just so completely frazzled. Isn't it fascinating? I just love this work. Anyway, that is our fire element. We know that all of the four meridians of the five element um, of the fire element are on the arms. Two on the inside, two on the outside, and we will be moving on to the earth element next. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.